not tanky at all this game because first of all there's the swarm reduces his armor more importantly there's the obsidian destroyer's orb which ignores armor it's pure damage dragonite is going to die very quickly and you go be well he's sure he's got the bkb but when he's not act when it's not active that's the orb's just gonna chew him alive yeah i mean he's he's got three deaths so far most of it coming from heroes like visage and as well as uh, those shackle shots that's really setting him up I don't think the issue was his tank ability. I, I think the issue is what if he could kill enough things when he's in the BKB form, which sadly I don't think he can. A he Dragonite, can't. XDD can't. I mean, he's got nobody phase, can because the phase mech, Yasha drums not enough. Yeah, Mech and Double Force. I, I've been saying that repeatedly. You just can't can't get any kills, and, and Super gonna roam into it, and well, he's dead. Oh my goodness, just gets blown up. Now XDD actually comes in thinking about an Omni Slash, but. YZ will back off. He's got some support coming in. The other interesting mechanic here is you can actually Astral Shao Tuji and then drop your OD ult. It will damage him, so even if he pops the BKB after that, he may be sitting at half or even less HP. So I don't know how much the BKB does for him as far as defensive capabilities, and certainly, like you said, they heavily lack damage, and I don't know where it's going to come from. Juggernaut, a hero that can do a ton of late-game damage, but normally it's when he has something like a Magnus to give him in power, maybe an Ogre Magi for Bloodlust, and more importantly, Three or four big items, and right now, well, he just doesn't really have any. Yeah, I almost want to say that they're forced to get these kind of more mid-game oriented item that gives them a little bit more mid-game damage. For example, Vlad's on Juggernaut will give your team an aura damage. Uh, that's going to be okay for Dragonite. Dragonite, instead of going for something like late, like an AC, maybe have to settle for a Maelstrom. Like, it's not good items. K uh, KYXY Secret Pinoy here picks up a Lincoln Sphere 31 minutes in after his Vanguard hey, why the hell not? treads drums. It's like you said, he's not expected to do the damage as long as he could Shukuchi to the back wave and start going on the supports. That's fine. He's like, not expected to, but I think he can. <laughs> Maybe Mushi's saying, don't you dare steal any kills from me. You're already 7 2 and 7. I want some. Mushi the Tyrant. Wow. XCD looking for an Omni Slash. Not going to find one just yet. They're going to hang out at the Ancients here for the time being. and. Rising Stars, they would love to do something like Sneak a Roche. Just anything to kind of claw their way back into this game. Because they now trail by 12k gold. It would officially be a big comeback by the Compendium standards, even though we're not in the International 3 qualifiers anymore. But 12k experience deficit. It's just the same question we had before. Where will the damage come from? They'll have to pull something creative out of the hat. Maybe it's even where you go for... I don't know, a Mask of Madness on Juggernaut does make your ultimate incredibly strong. Obviously, makes you total food after that. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure about that one. Maybe Dragonite could get one, but I, I think they're going to go for the more standard items, like an AC on Dragonite, finish a Manta, and then go straight Butterfly on, on Juggernaut. Maybe those are what they're looking for. I just think they're a little bit too, uh, too late. On the same note, though, maybe Rising Star says, all right, forget mid-game superiority. We'll get, we'll give you all the outer towers you want. Why are they pushing for this one? That's a big question. Oh. Cliff gets popped up. They got to back off because the wraparound's coming. Shackle shot, not latching for once. Anybody chasing in? That's not cute to get yet. out. There's your imprison on super. Now the familiar stuns follow up. The orbs come in. Look at that OD. Oh, oh my goodness. Mushi with an insta give triple. Now one Smofy. He's hasted. He'll astral him. He's going to find himself an ultra kill almost certainly. Might find a courier as well. Mushi wants it all. Mofi trying to stun. Can't get it off. The kill was sniped. Dragonite the lone survivor. BKBs. TP's out. And when you see that OD ult, that's where you may just instantly smash your keyboard and say, GG. Yeah, I mean, why did they really go for the push? As soon as they saw the glyph and, and realized TPs were coming in, it is time to back out. Sure, the Shadow Demon got disrupted, but say, man, Shadow Demon, good luck. We'll see you next time when you respawn the fountain. You just can't take a fight where just down so much item, down so much EXP, and we just realize why, because OD single-handedly could win a teamfight against them. He did like 80% of their entire enemy team's HP and damage right. instantly. Yeah, in one shot. So and then you throw the orbs on top of it. Yeah. Well, now Roshan goes on Mushi, so for the next six minutes, that Rising Star definitely can't win a fight at all. So I think Rising Star with that previous fight where they kind of forced and lost, I think they're out of this game, but we'll see how Orange uh, plays this one. Because like we kind of talked about during the pregame, Orange sometimes have issue closing out games. And... Well, we'll see whether they, they will have this issue right now. Well, this game sh should, shouldn't be any issues. They're up by 14k gold. They're up by 20k experience. They have, I think by all accounts, the better late game lineup, especially with Mid this kind of an advantage. Shaco already, Scythe oh, up here, and there's going to be a disrupt, but Net already in position here to now impel right after. No BKB for you, and look at that the nook damage. He popped the BKB 
just to actually dodge a solo sum shenouken. That's three times. Every single BKB usage from Chatuji has been to run away. Yeah. Well, the Mi first one has been trying to man fighting, but... Um, no, the first one was going to die to a shackle shot under tower. Pops the BKB, maybe hoping for a bait, but... I mean, even then, it's kind of a defensive BKB. Well, in any case, uh, yeah, these BKBs are just not enough. It's not like the BKB is a poor item choice. It's just the way that he's been using it has been very unfortunate for the team. And it, Yeah, it's, it's what you said, just unfortunate. Yeah, and now I think they have to give up this tier 2 as well. The tier 2 top or the tier 2 mid, it just can't do anything. I think at this point, you just play like your anti-mage, play like your void, just sack towers for, for, for farm. But look at this, Shiva's guard now picked up on OD. How do you kill this guy? I'm not worried about killing him. I'm worried about living against him. He has a 160 intelligence. You compare that, we'll click through some of the Rising Stars heroes. 53, uh, or 52 rather, on the Shadow Demon. You have around 60 and 65 on the Lashrak, something like that. Juggernaut, 47. Bottom lane, there will be an initiation here. They want KOXY. Time lapses out. Dodges the Split Earth. Still eats a Dragon Tail, though, and he Ooh. will get blown up. Lincoln Spear, Vanguard, Drums, Treads, or not. Still can die. Still, still gets 5v1. Yeah. Still couldn't get 5v1, and, uh, well, I mean, I'm look. you, you even the, you're here, like, Puck, 56 intelligence. Mushi has two to three times the intelligence of every enemy hero. A hundred plus intelligence on many of them. You do the damage, you do the math for Sandy's Eclipse, that's a lot of freaking damage. It's, uh, 11 multiplier for each point of missing int, and, uh, when you're up, like, 120 int, yeah, you're looking at some insane magical damage. Are we gonna we'll see We'll go in right now on Shatuji, Scythe up, nope, we'll back off. No high ground. Group, Orange, so. RNG Sports not going to commit. They're thinking about the initiation, but wisely they do back. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. That was that was a pretty funny death on the final play in Ohio. All these defensive items still can't live. And maybe he's like, oh man, I'm I'm Superman. And then they're like, nope, you're still just a bug, or a buggy Squash bug. Squash you beneath our boots. That's what the Dragon Knight was saying. And the other thing is. Shiva's is just a great combo with OD, not just because it gives him more intelligence, but that AoE slow while you're hitting everyone mi with massive AoE damage and Weaver's chasing them all, it's very synergistic. This is good news for Rising Stars, though. They get some key items right now. Well, actually, excuse me, only one key item. But Shadow Blade for the Dragonite will start to see a little bit of damage. We'll see Double Blink Dagger on net, <laughs> sells it, buys it again. Now has it for real. You know, I just realized that players could troll the caster so hard if he just like sends to the shop, self blink, by blink, self blink, by blink, and just get this like entire column of blink daggers from that. Hopefully, no no pro player listens to what I'm saying right now and decides to troll casters, but they definitely can. I'm sure Bulba is listening. All right, Bulba's gonna do that next time. He plays uh, maybe Shadow Blade, Nature's Prophet, and just gonna have a, a fun old time. Oh, just get a Mask of Madness and a Crystalis, and you'll be scratch your head. We'll see Shoutuji in trouble middle lane, though. There's your Scythe Device. Look at the orb damage, even through the armor. Doesn't matter. The OD ult does three quarters of XDD's health. He'll back off. Mushi, well, didn't need to ult there. That was definitely overkill, but he just wanted secures that kill, the man. kill. Yeah, kill secure, guys. Yeah. He's, sure. the He's the alpha male. He's the top dog on RNG Sports. Now 10, 4, and 6, leading the charge here for his team, and 3.6k gold on top of that. Mushi getting a little out of control. Yeah, Rising Star is uh, looking like they, they will have issue holding this. Maybe the Radiant team is not going to go for this push, considering that the ultimates are down on, on OD, and that's a big part of the damage. They could easily wait for two minutes if they want, or you, you just say, hey, we still have Aegis. Uh, that's a bigger thing. You talk about how it's... Uh-oh. Uh, XDD in trouble. Top lane may die just to KOX, but he'll be okay. He's going to have to pop that healing ward, and basically not even going to go back to Fountain, because they got to defend. You talked about how uh, Shiva's guard really synergized with the offense. As you have four snap into a side on the mid lane, Moshi, Mo Mofi, sorry, not making out of that uh, piglet form and, and dying. The also other big thing to to talk about with the Shiva's guard is it limits the damage output of Rising Star, and that's what we've been harping on throughout this entire cast. Is they have no damage, and now they have less damage with that Shiva on the plane. Yeah, field. he's tankier. He also slows down your attack speed. And here's like Dragon Knight are lacking attack speed. Even Juggernaut has gone for phase boots, which somewhat limits yours. Blinken, stun on Shatuji. Look at the damage once again. He will be okay for the time he gets disrupted. Now BKBs is a level 16 dragon. Maybe, just maybe, Rising Stars can turn this around. They'll try and duke it out. Problem is, KYXY is diving the base. Oh no, this isn't looking good. Shatuji next in line. A blink forward, overwhelming, overrunning. The defenses of Rising Stars, they'll force out the GG. They'll squeeze it from them, kicking and screaming, Rising Stars. Stars, they gave it a valiant effort, but never really felt like they had their feet in this game, Lumi. They get slammed in game one. 29 to 13, the final score. 25k gold lead.
25k experience lead. RNG Sports all the way here in our first match of today. Yeah, uh, mid-game recovery from Rising Star was pretty good. They were a little bit down early. The, the mid-game ganks were okay. Unfortunately, once Mushi got a little bit out of control with that uh, the second item pickup, the side of Vice, it, it was... I think even before the side of us pick up, they were starting already winning pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, I think it was. I think it was even way before that. You just look at that. I think it was those big engagements top where they had those that multiple scrappy fights. Rising Stars actually took one nice fight, but then they got picked off the second time around. Orange just snowballed from there. They got yeah. five or six kills. They take the tier one tower, and from there it was just all Orange esports all the way. Yeah. So I, I I simply don't think you could win a long extended team fight against Visage. Visage was absolutely huge in and, the team and, fight. And Windrunner as well because sure. she's hitting, Ohio is hitting uh, multiple hero hat shackle shots, even hackle shots at times. Yeah, when you're relying on burst damage and the Radiant team could back off, keep setting up shackle shots, keep using the long range of Visage and, and just nuke you down, right. throw you down, you don't win those fights and that's what we saw. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up for game one. Of course, it is a best of three. Your Malaysian sensations, RNG Sports off to a strong start on day two. If they win this best of three, they'll be 2-0 and oh in the group tied up with DK. The other big dogs who are looking pretty fearsome in their own right. As for Rising Stars, they are 1-1 and one in the group right now. They lose this game. They drop to 1-2. and two. They're tied up with the likes of LGD and Rattlesnake, the only 0-2 team in the group. So you lose this game, your Rising Stars. Well, the road gets tough for you as well, Lumi. Can you actually make it out of the group still if you're down... I believe, oh, you still, I believe you still... You have to win every other game? Rattlesnake maybe can make it out if they win their last two games. And these teams that are one and two, they'll have to win that next one. Otherwise, all but, all but certainly to be eliminated. Okay, so not exactly in good territory for Rising Star. Yeah. Let's see if they come back here. Guys, stay tuned. It's a best of three. We'll be coming back soon with game two. RNG Sports now leading Rising Stars 1-0.
，就是会一旦局面变成变成劣势局的时候，你就发现这就是一个替换局；一旦局面局面在优势局的时候，你发现就是跟着大哥一起混助攻这种之类的。好，就是辅助很好玩。请听 VS 智商，好不好？没有，就是我觉得有待商榷嘛，对于女孩子来说。好吧，还是要做大哥或者大姐，然后被男孩子保是吧？好，那我们稍事休息一下吧，然后马上回来将会为大家带来的是由二军战队对阵 Real Star 的第二场比赛。A 组埃及，老干爹，飞机，波浪，密度有 ，DK， 老干爹安吉 ，Orange， 阿斯达。
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for yet another game. Just making sure I have my microphone here. I do. It's Orange versus Rising Stars. It's going to be game two of the best of three, with Orange leading the best of three, one to zero. And they did it in rather spectacular and convincing fashion. Yeah, it was shackle shots after shackle shots. It was Visage nukes after another. And then late game uh, yeah. KS is ult. I had quite a few people tweeting at me saying, Ohio MVP, Ohio hacker, Ohio hackle shot, and can't really argue with it after that game. Guys, the draft's already underway. We'll hop right into it for game two. If Orange win this game, they'll be 2-0 and in the group. Draft underway. Let's get it going. Yeah, Life Series is going to be the first pick up here for the Chinese uh, Rising Star. And uh, we haven't actually, I haven't seen Life Sealer. This uh, is the first time he hasn't been banned. Yeah, and since me, the changes. For me, this has been the first time I've seen him play. And uh, my big question is whether he's going to have the, the same remaining. impact. Now, a lot of people have been saying, well, he still have that rage, six seconds, seven seconds Five of seconds magical remaining. immunity, and that's insane. But at the same time, because you have to be somewhat forced to level up your open wounds now, because you actually need that initiation range to follow up or just initiate. Sometimes you are w working with only a level 1 or 2 rage. I've seen builds where you go like 2-1-2. Two, two. I don't think that's the way to go here. You have a Rubik. Rubik's the setup. Rubik tosses them in, then you open wounds them. You don't. You only need to level it if you don't have a setup hero. Well, at the same time, you also want your Rubik to stand back. Because if he stands too far forward, then he gets initiated and then things get hairy. So You really have to max rage first. You're up against the Gyro and Nyx. You don't have a choice. Well, I, that just just from what I've seen Five from in the past, is that, or what I've heard from the past, that Life Sealer is going for like the 2-1-2 two, two build yeah. to, to take up the uh, open wounds by quite a bit. Uh, we'll I mean, it's a, it's a fair point. I just oh, feel like end of the day, it's bad. the solution is more just you have to have supports that can initiate for the Life Stealer. And sure, maybe it puts them in harm's way occasionally, but that's where you use things like smoke. You just wait for the right opportunity. Opportunity. If you're leveling up open wounds in a prolonged team fight, you're just going to get blown up by all these nukes, I feel. Yeah, it, it p makes it somewhat difficult for Life Sealer to, to kind of go in and out on team fight as well. Although, to, to talk about the higher levels of open wound, it makes the cooldown a lot shorter, so you could cast That's a couple true. more if, if the team fight goes long enough, but we'll see. It also depends a lot on your lane. If we see him in a tri lane versus tri lane scenario, maybe that's where uh, he does level up the open wounds a little bit less since he'll have the Rubik. If he's in a 1v1, you almost have to level up the open wounds more. If you're up against something like a Nature's Prophet, a 600 range hero, mm -hmm. uh, where normally Lifestealer can just go on that hero and dominate the lane, if he wants to do anything now, he'll have to level it up. So we'll see. I think it will depend on the matchup and how the game develops here. But what do you think about the rest of the draft? Going rather quickly. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, the ban of Visage came out so late because I feel like that was one big part of how Orange beat uh, Rising Star last game. And the fact that Rising Star had the chance to pick up Visage, but instead they, they went for Nyx Assassin and Gyrocopter, two heroes that uh, they pick up no matter what if it's not banned out. Let's see. They